you really just should have paid for all of our food. For one, I'm not paying for everybody's food. You it's your birthday cool, but friends. I'm not doing that. It's 18. What? Why do you got to pay for all y'all food, though? You brought 18 friends. I'm going to leave you. You stay here with them or you coming with me? Nobody wants a bro. You Oh, bro. We can see how bad things absolutely are now. Women are being arrested for stealing food. We're seeing it happen all over the place where women are going out to restaurants and men are saying, you know what? I'm not going to pay for your meal. I'm not going to be the one. Let's just go ahead and continue on with the video. So I see that video went really viral. Um, the bill was like $4,600. That's why I didn't want to split it. This was a very expensive restaurant. Look, they're even giving hot towels. So I'm going to show you all the whole video so you can see what actually happened. Shit, bro. I'm tired of this it's her birthday. Like, it's my fucking birthday. Why the fuck should I have to pay for something on my birthday? Like, Y'all yeah, don't know. know. But no, but what I'm saying is, why would I pay for something I didn't buy? I'm only paying for what's on the check. I'm not splitting the bill, Shawty. That's crazy. You expect us to split the bill? You got lamb chop. You got steak. You got some Look at all that. Look at what all they got. They talking about splitting the bill. What did you come out for? Yeah, what did you come out for? We come together. We split the bill. Period. My thing is, Y'all doing way yeah, too much. We didn't order all that. But what I'm saying is, I'm not paying for that. That is dead, yeah. baby girl. That is dead. Yeah. That's dead. Stop coming out of public and you can't pay for your food. What's the point of getting food if you can't pay? Keisha, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Nisha. Y'all, this is some serious stuff. So, this woman went out to eat with these men and her friends, 18 of them. And she expected the men or her man to spend $4,600 to cover the bill. $4,600. And they were all eating good, ordering the most expensive things on the menu. And when he said to her, I'm not spending all of that money. I'm not paying for all of your food. She called him broke. She said she doesn't want to go with him. Guys, what kind of delusion are we dealing with today? Where people would think, where someone could think it's appropriate to have your significant other pay a bill of almost $5,000 in a single evening, one sitting, for you and your friends to eat. It was my birthday. It was my birthday. You see, this is why I explain that women do not look at facts. They don't think about the facts of the matter. Instead, they use feelings. In her feelings, she believes that she is right because she believes, she feels that because it was her birthday, he should pay the bill for her and all of her friends. The facts are irrelevant. The facts that, you know, even if you make a hundred or $200,000 a year, no one wants to pick up a $5,000 bill. For someone and their friends. That's ridiculous. But facts don't matter because they process their, or their sense of logic is completely guided by feelings. This is why men are walking away and saying that, you know what? It's too much. It's no longer worth it. It's too expensive. I'd rather focus on myself, play video games, work out at home because, you know, I'm not even going to go to the gym. I built a gym at home. I'm just going to work out there, trade stocks, buy crypto, watch television, listen to music, maybe even make some music, stack bread. You know, why am I going to leave? Why am I going to go out there and stress myself out and put myself in this situation? And if I really, really do want to find someone, I'll go overseas. Now, the thing is, a lot of guys are more than happy just to sit back and relax inside, jump on the hub when they need some company and their intimacy. And then they're done with that, a flick of the wrist, and they're on to the next activity. They say that, I shouldn't even say they say, research has found that come 2030, 45% of all women in the United States between the ages of 25 and 44, will be childless and single. Now, what makes it even more interesting is that we're not even thinking about the single mothers. When you factor in the single mothers, 
we're talking about 60 to 70 percent of all women between the ages of 25 and 44 will be childless and single. So almost so almost every almost three out of every four women in the United States will be childless and single. Three out of four in just six years. And modern women don't seem to care. Because they're like, oh well, we don't want you. We don't want you. The thing is that the men that they, the men that they love, little Bancho and his brother Sancho, these are not marriageable men. They may love these men, but they know they cannot marry these men. They need a plan B guy, a guy who is at least six feet tall. He has a six pack and he makes above six figures. So they're all basically looking for, for millionaires at this point. So they can enter into their soft guy era. And it's just not happening. When you look at the insane inflation and everything else happening, you would think women would be more mindful and, and realize, hey, things are not looking good in the economy. We need to settle down. Nope. It's full steam ahead and I'll get whatever I want or else. And the reason why is because their feelings have told them that they will get whatever they want. This is why they can say, Jesus told me that the right guy is out there for me, the, the really high value man, the guy who is a millionaire, the guy who's at least six feet tall, the guy who has a six pack. And he's going to be and not, and he's tall, dark, handsome, you know, and he's good with, and he loves, he loves cats and he's, and, and he's, he's super funny and he enjoys romantic comedies and he's a, and a, this, and he likes, and he likes pepperoni on his pizza, but he doesn't like anchovies and he hates pineapples on pizza too. And he's, and he's guys, basically a build a beer workshop dude where he has to have all these specific qualities and like this, this, and this. And then they turn around and say, these are not even a lot of things to ask for. And if just one of those things on her list does not fit in, she'll say, it's not there. She'll say, nope, I've got to go on to the next one. I've got to keep on moving until I find that right guy. But when you go to the Philippines, the Filipinas don't mess around. They will, they will go with you from the airport straight to the hotel. And if it doesn't happen the first day, by the next time you see them, you best believe. You see, physical intimacy is just getting their foot in the door. After that, they're going to start cooking for you, cleaning for you, giving you a back massage, washing your clothes, and creating value as quickly as possible in your life because they want to lock that relationship down. By the way, guys, if you're enjoying the content, consider subscribing to my newsletter for my personal thoughts and insights. There's a link to it in the description of the video. And also join the Angry Guy community on Locals. You can get over there via angrygalaxy.com. It's linked in the description of the video. And you will get exclusive content. Or And you can also help to support the channel. So go check that out. I mean, guys, this is why they're being arrested. Guys, men are going out with, with women. And when they, when they say, hey, listen, we're not paying the bill. What ends up happening? She basically says, you have to. I don't have any money. And he says, well, you need to take yourself home too. And she goes, I don't even have money for an Uber. And then what happens? The, re the restaurant comes, the waiter comes and says, listen, I'm calling the police. I'm calling the cops. If you don't pay your bill, I'm calling the cops. There are numerous situations now where they're taking, the, where they're dealing with women. For example, in this case, left with the bill, left with bill and arrested after blind date, exits, uh, women sees most civil, most of civil suit dismissed. It's just one, this is just one example where this woman went on a blind date with a guy. He left her with a bill of $127 and 86 cents. And what the, and after, you know, the restaurant said, offered to allow her to pay half of the bill, which was only $48 and 12 cents, which was her portion of the bill. She refused several offers to pay that. So then the cap, the cafe called the police. She was arrested. And then she claimed that she didn't like the way that she was handcuffed. So that created a whole other situation. I mean, guys, this is just the reality of it. This is just the reality of it. You know, she guys, she could not afford $50, $50. She refused to pay 
$50. The police came. She ate that food. She refused to pay $50. And she went to jail for $50. They don't have the money. They don't have it. Okay? When a guy refuses to pay for a woman's Uber, she says, he gives me the X, and then she's walking. She starts to walk. She doesn't even have money. She cannot even order an Uber for herself. She doesn't have $15 to $20 for an Uber. It's not because and she's walking late at night. It's not because she's stingy. She's broke. She does not have it. She, they've been Women are living off the simp economy, and they've been doing it for so long. They thought no one noticed. That's why, like, when a guy doesn't want to do something for them, oh, he gives me the X. He's he's if a guy is cheap, he's uh, oh, I you know this give me his key give me he gives me the X so bad. It's because they're broke and they don't want to accept the fact they're that they they don't have it. So they're trying to pass their insecurity on to others and shame men for their own insecurity, as if men are so don't can't comprehend, don't realize that they don't have the money to actually take care of themselves. Unbelievable. Guys, the economy is headed in such a nosedive direction. We're experiencing dollar de de dollarization right now. Japan is selling off dollars left and right. China is dumping dollars left and right. China and Japan hold the most dollars in the United States, hold the most dollars in the world, and they're dumping they're dumping the U.S. dollar. The U.S. dollar is no longer the reserve currency for the world. Is no law. The petrodollar no longer exists. You know, I mean, come on, guys, you have to see it. It's going to be extremely bad the next in the coming years. And as soon as you know the floor falls out, you know, we and we officially enter the recession, which we've been in a recession for ages now, but we're now officially in a recession. You're gonna see companies rushing to now push put in AI and get rid of all of these jobs. And most of the jobs that are, they're gonna get rid of are going to be jobs predominantly done by women. And men, on the other hand, will simply, you know, learn new skills, move to a new field, whatever, because men have to survive. Or in some cases, men will just drop out of the economy, drop out of the workforce. Because what we're seeing right now is a lot of men, 30 million men are not even working. They're staying home because the average man, the average man can live happily in a shoebox at the side of the road. The average man does not need a lot to survive. Women completely underestimate just how little a man needs to survive. What do you guys think regarding this? Women are being arrested for stealing food. Let me know your thoughts. We'll talk about it in the comments. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA men walking away and cheer.